Welcome back to Homegrown Challenge with New York Rangers. Um, as we said last episode, just at the very end, um, we decided that we will not target any players that are not in North America. So Canadian and American, that's all we're going to do through draft. That's all we're going to do through free agency. That's all we're going to do throughout even waiver claims. We will not, we will not be adding any more players that are not American on our team. Uh, we're not going to offload any of those players. Um, cause I guess that would mean that we have to get rid of sure Stegen. Um, but so far we have like six, six or, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine players currently on the roster that are from the United States. And then most of them are, the rest of them are pretty much from Canada as well. Um, there's only a couple anomalies like Geiser, he's not going to be really a long-term starter anyways. Uh, Nemeth, he's, we're not going to end up starting him. Her Henriksen, we may end up offloading him as well, but Shurstegen, Buchnekovic, um, Hajek, we, we might as well just, we'll, we probably won't really use him that much. And Cheadle. So basically after Cheadle and Buchnekovic and Shurstegen end up leaving, we won't have any more, um, players that that are from anywhere else so yeah we'll just keep keep doing with that we may may even try and emphasize using um players from the united states over Cana uh, canadian team or players as well so we'll we'll end up targeting that as well um so bozak retires char re retires helm i saw a couple other things that were pretty interesting in here um that marlowe's finally done um San Jose is going to retire his uniform. Brad Richardson, I mean, I don't really think... He, I don't know. I don't think he was really that good, but I could be wrong. He... Yeah, 253, 83, I mean, plus minus, negative. So that's probably not a good idea. His overall grade was 50. But that's just from one year. That's not really that fair. Um, but overall, doesn't. I don't think he was really that good. Um... There was a new GM or head coach that was pretty interesting that I really liked. A couple of our guys end up going. So Statsny, Spezza, all gone. Stallman, Yandel, Cogliano. So I wonder if this ends up happening in real life. Like Broussard's gone. Dubnik's out. I think that's probably real. Parise, I doubt Parise's out. I think he's going to go till 40. Um, Stall, again, I don't think he's going to retire yet. Brennan Sutter, maybe, probably not though. I think he still he still has something. Joe Thornton's gone. I wonder what team would actually what team did he play the most with? Yeah, I guess you had San Jose. San Jose and Boston doesn't show anything before Boston, so that's odd. Um, I don't know if you guys got a glimpse as to who it is that I'm talking about. Craig Anderson, yeah, he's probably done after this year, too. Hopefully, we don't get a broadcast deal yet. Rangers, we got... Okay, good. One year, 50, 51 million. Fantastic. So, that's pretty good. Uh, very unhappy with us, obviously. Um, our team is... Our current payroll is 63 million. So, we definitely have to add a ton of players. Um, Los Angeles, okay. Good. Stars Inc. Five year. I'd rather the one year every single year. That's actually probably what I want. Um, which means that the second that we end up having a good year, it ends up pretty much paying for everything. Nashville closed right deals. Okay, so these are all nothing. Okay, Bruce Boudreau ends up leaving, um, but brings in Travis Green. I've always been a Travis Green fan. Yeah, see, he doesn't really have any. They don't have those stats. I know it's probably a little bit of memory, but which kind of sucks. Um, GM calls it a career. Lou Morello's gone. Um, then Ken Morrow or Morrow. I don't know how old he is. He is 65. So he, that's garbage. He's gonna be gone in like two years, anyways. Todd Reardon, um, Jacques Lapierre retires as well. There's tons, tons of retirements. I mean, we could always jump ship, but no, we're going to stick with the Rangers. Uh, Gordy Clark, I feel that we just signed him to. 
Yeah, I don't know why it shows fired when they retire, because he was definitely wasn't fired. Um, no, I guess we had him before. Uh, Luchchenko, not really anything. He was a scout. We probably... No, okay, we didn't... He was on the team beforehand, so I guess we just didn't really extend him. I feel as though all these guys were probably two-year contracts. But I could have sworn that we ended up extending a lot of people, too, so... Yeah, so, uh, Rob Ramage leaves, I think that's, that's it, trainer, a trainer retires, so that doesn't really matter, um, now that we know that we have to do this this year, we can, we can probably get a jump start on everything, so starting points, uh, uh, yeah, we will add, we'll add, for sure add, um, Development, yes. And marketing, I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, are we selling out right now? So we won't change anything there. Let's see if we can click. Okay, we can do all this. Okay, great. So convert 181 regular seats to 18 luxury boxes. So we'll do that. Again, cap obligations. So let's see what what kind of renewing we're gonna do. Cause next year we only have 17 million. You know what? That's good. I actually, I will do this. I will do this, yep. That's a good one. Um, let's go for Lafreniere next. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind it being maybe, a, maybe five years here. So at least he's 25, maybe 26. Let's see if he goes for it. We'll give him, I think, let's give him four million. Or let's maybe 3.75. Yeah, we'll give him 3.75. Since he is our future, let's give him something a little bit better. 3.75 over why does he not want okay let's do four million then it's literally just one extra year for four million why wouldn't you want to do that right um yeah plus there we go lower Feels like you have to kind of do this one. Like, if you were a player, wouldn't you do this? No, what? Oh my god, okay. Meet demands, fine. Well, see, how does that make not, how does that make any sense, though? Like, anyone would go for it. Three years? Oh, I want you, like, six. Let's do, you know what, let's, let's see if we can do eight. We'll max them out. We'll give them a ton of money here. Let's give him five. Yeah, we'll give him five million over. Five point five maybe. Let's give him something disgusting though. Like basically double of what he wants, but secure him for eight million, so we can at least build around him. If it doesn't do that, like, this would be realistic in the game. Like, I understand they might not want whatever. So I'll kind of, like, spread it out a little bit here. Maybe a little bit less than the last two years. Oh, my God. That's not what we want. Like, this is, this is kind of ridiculous, I'll be honest. We're willing to offer him double it for twice as much, but you know what? Fine, we will give you what you want. Um, Mason Shaw, we will we will renew you as well. Everyone just wants three years, so we will have to... Oh, McTavish is up now, so that's good. He was under... It looks like he was under contract. So McTavish, our team will probably actually be pretty good this year. Um, Jones... 1.3. There we go. Everyone wants three-year contracts. I don't. I don't get it. I don't like it. 
means that everyone everyone's going to be up at the exact same time. Oh, at least you know what? This is comforting. At least at least he only wants two. Adam Fox is already secured forever. So that's good. Um we'll leave Schneider. Yeah, we'll give you a, a new contract, 3 years also. Can I give you can I give you 4? Ah, oh, fuck. I fine. Like that's stupid. Okay. And then our goalies, yeah, that's fine. Dylan Grand is what we're going to do, but let's quickly look at the available free agency. See if we can go all in on someone. So, like we said, we won't go after anyone that's not American. So, Smesovsky, however you say it. Why does it show that he's other nationalities? So, he was born in the States. So, we will we'll offer him a contract. So, let's meet demands, ask for a response. We will give him whatever he asks for. He is a son of, of another legend as well. Um, and he's under the age that we need. Germany and Canadian, that's odd. Born in Berlin, so no, we will not do that one. Where has he played, though? He's, But, I mean, he would probably be a Canadian citizen. You know, a judgment call, we won't, we won't go for him. Yeah, we won't go for him. Rubinsky. You know what? Let's go for you. Doesn't look like there's any talent here, though. That's crazy. Day one in free agency, there is no one, really. Ryan Francis as well. Let's offer you a contract. And then we'll go for another defender, so... But yeah, no one, no one over the age that we want, but... You know what, three, his save percentage looks pretty good. So 21, Canadian US, that's perfect. So let's see if we end up actually getting any of these players. I think it'll be hard to uh, make the cap. It's gonna be impossible to make the cap actually. We may have to make a trade. I don't know how, I don't know who. But we will probably have to make a trade or offer someone something disgusting in like one year of these. Like Palat, give him a one year contract of like, oh no, I guess we can't do that. Sorry. Um, Yeah, actually, now we can maybe trade players since everyone is available. So Leafs, no. So let's look at the Tampa, uh, Tampa Bay. All right, let's offer them. We can finally, finally get rid of Truba. Of course, we're offering way too much. Let's see if we can get a. They will never accept this. Okay, that is it's not of high value. I, they have no picks until late. Jesus. All right, let's go for a third rounder. And sixth rounder this year. Let's just load up in all their picks if we can. I think this is a pretty, that's a pretty solid uh, chunk there that we're going to get for it. Okay, your monthly expenses exceed your available. No, that doesn't look right. Um, how it says ending points that were good, though. Oh, okay. Scouting. You know what? We don't need the morale thing. So we'll try that. Yeah, so the morale thing. I don't know. I don't know what that, what that was all about, but morale thing, we'll just leave it at, uh, at zero not really do anything so we'll, we'll end up doing the draft we'll have to look for that player that i was talking about i think it's like molden now or something 
but either we end up getting them this year or we end up targeting them after. So I think Coach Adelic we can probably get. Um, yeah, Coach Adelic we will get. I think he's probably available late on answered emails. Who care? Wow, okay. Well, we don't want any of these. So contract signs, cotton, okay. Wow, apparently this guy wants more money, okay. Yeah, whatever. This is a joke. I kind of don't want to get him just for that reason alone. Okay, Zach Jones, yeah, everyone. Okay. Oh, let's look at our... Um, I guess we might as well look at our depth here and sign whichever players that we have not signed. So... Kemp, no, that's still good. How many years is he in the NCAA for? Oh, okay. Five years NCAA rights. Okay, so we can leave him there. Yeah, he just did in one year, so we won't sign him. We won't sign them unless they're going to start. Okay, that he's still here. We will sign Korzak for sure. And then maybe even send him back. Just to have that. Wow, okay. Um, that's weird. So Grube is going to stay there. Berard's going to stay there. Yeah, he's... He only played one season, I think. Two seasons. So after next year, we decide to whether or not we end up keeping. But we'll probably have a guy that starts this year anyways in the draft. And then, yeah, Molden, Moldenhauer is the other guy that we're probably going to target as well. I'm just not sure where they are drafted. I will have to take a quick look. Okay, so 22, yeah, 49, whatever. 31, Dylan Grant, 52, done. Assign 32 for whoever this guy is. And McTavish wants 36. Honestly, I think our team's going to be far better than what we want them to be. We're not going to go for Brian Russ, so that's there's no... There's no concern in that one. So yeah, Coach Adelic and Moldenhauer is, or Molden, yeah, Moldenhauer. Let's take a look at the scouting real quick. I think we have them on our watch list here. I guess half our watch list we have to, um, of course we can't get now because of our, our role here. Oh, I thought I had, I thought I clicked Final ranking, okay. Can we look up, we'll look up Delic here. Okay, so, okay, good. He's Canadian. Um, we can probably get him this year, I think. So we may be able to get him, feels like we can get him early enough. And Moldenhauer. Um, Nicholas, I believe he's coming up in the draft as well. It's not showing him where he's projected. So we'll have to take a quick look at those players as well. But I think they're like three stars or two and a half stars. So I'm guessing like fifth round is where we, we, we specifically target these players. Um, all right. So we got that. So it's probably going to be draft very soon. I think draft is around like the 5th or 6th. But this draft is going to be very uh, long, very uh, very intensive here. Um, accepted. Fantastic. But I think we just <laughs> I think we just screwed ourselves for the cap. Um, let's take a quick look at what our uh, we have oh, we have 23 million. So I think it's close. I think it's 23 million from the 89. So it's Adam Fox saves us. Adam Fox just saved us from that. 
because contracts seven million plus. I think once we send people down, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be uh hard. So we might have to grab someone again and trade away maybe a pick to get to get above the uh the minimum. I I I'm that's kind of dumbfounding when you think of it that we actually have to do it. But we got we got probably the so we got the third rounder next year, but the sixth rounder this year is what I think we can get. So I don't know how we managed to finish. That's just disgusting. Okay, so none of these ones matter. We better not be robbed. Oh my god, we are robbed. What the fuck, man? How? How? We were we shouldn't have even been in that spot anyways. Like... I don't, if someone please explain to me how it's supposed to work, but I'm going to, I'm going to assume that when you're the, you're tied with the other team, I, does it go head to head to be the tiebreaker? Cause if it does, then that's kind of irritating. I, we got the fourth. Okay. So I don't know if we want to trade it away though. Do we want to trade it away to like one of these so we got the fourth the 20th and the tw or sorry the 20th and the 32nd and then we have two in the second so let's see if we can let's look at the who's available first um initial entry draft okay let's look at so Lambert seems like who we would get. So can we even get him based on our roles? He was born in, no, we can't get Lambert. So Cooley would have to be the guy that we get. Logan Cooley, is, no matter what, is what we end up getting. He's projected as four. So no matter what, Logan Cooley is who we end up drafting. So... 62 in ushl so you know what fine we're we're okay with that all right quickly come on let's go unless this is it okay um so obviously we're not going to get shane wright obviously savoie we're not going to get either bastards um Logan Cooley, what? Why do you have to do this? What in God's name? I'm going to... Oh, my God. All right, can we trade the pick? No, that's just stupid. I don't like this at all. Why? Why do that? Okay, you know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go all in for Cooley after. We'll get Kamel. We'll draft. We'll draft Kamel, even though he's not supposed to be what we get. He's supposed to be the third pick. So we'll. Fine. We'll pick Kamel. Um. Wait. No. What's Lambert? Lambert says Canadian. Lambert says Canadian. I don't know. You know, we'll do Lambert. Brad Lambert sounds like a Canadian name, not a Swedish name. Or not a Finnish name. So, you know, what? We, we'll go with Lambert here. And then we'll pick until human here. So... See if anything. Connor Geeky. So Simon Nemec ends up going the tenth one, which is the other guy that we didn't really want. Um and now we basically Oh, uh, so it looks like Nielsen is a battalion. Yeah. He's sixteen. So what pick do we have here? So I Miroshenko seventh you know what i mean we're gonna try and do it to the best of our abilities but i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna go for the russian 
just for trade, like, he probably won't start for us. We'll probably end up getting rid of him for that. He'll probably just be trade bait, but we won't start anyone that's, that's not. So it's just business in the end of it. So we wanted Nelson, but he'll be gone, long gone. Nelson was probably right after us too, wasn't he? Where is Nelson? Okay, so we got Gavin here. Potential here. Almquist, who we want, but we can't grab. Um, you know what? Let's go either Gavin... Panzer, that guy sounds that guy sounds like what we would want. He had a good year with the NHL in NAHL and he is American. So we will grab Panzer here. Pick Panzer, yeah. And then we will pick until human. I feel as though there's no search thing here, though. Um, it doesn't show our... I don't like that. So we got the late second here. Um, Nielsen here looks like it. We will probably target the Moldenhauer guy in the next round, though, because... Yeah. Yeah, let's go for more for Moldenhauer. I mean, Almquist is also a guy. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be like a second, yeah, first rounder. So can we look up? What's he projected to be? Eighty nine. 89 and we are at yeah you know what yeah let's go for him now he is a three star so we will look for that three star there's going to be a ton of them there we go nicholas moldenhauer we got you Ooh, this guy i like too the Galdamath guy i really liked him and my other save I wish I could get him again. Pick until human. So, I mean, unfortunately, another player that's American ends up getting picked before us. Almquist as well. So, I know we don't want to... It feels though like Jeremy Wilmer is the pick here, though. But Almquist just looks... So, what other pick do we have here? We're in the third round, so we won't get it till the fourth. So, Jeremy Wilmer will be the guy that we, we grab next. For sure, if he's there. Wilmer, yes, yes he is. So we'll go Wilmer here, and then we'll go for the for the Coach Adelic guy after that. So pick until human. Let's go for Delic here. So Coach Adelic, what pick do you say? 134. So we will reach at him. 134 so we will reach a little bit at him let me know. there we go fantastic so we got the two guys that we really really wanted we don't know if they're going to do well in any of this um but those are the two guys that we really came for so now it's really just american or canadian uh middle sad yep yeah, that's done we'll go uh Mueller. Mueller. You know what? Mueller will go and then hopefully Middlestad is there. He is not. He is not, no. Um Kai U Ukatsa. Don't know how to say his name. This is I'm just gonna butcher it. Um Michael got I remember getting him in the other one as well. We're probably gonna go for another let's go for uh UCAA guy. He 
here late in the fifth round here. And then hopefully, I mean, Lekromaki, he's he is great. That's the worst part. And I feel as though I just I just want him. We may we may end up breaking our our rule here, but I just like I just want to keep him. Okay, so next uh, Pellerin seems like the guy that we're probably gonna get. Tepley, I mean Tepley looks like he has what we want. We'll go Pellerin. Yeah, we'll go Pellerin here. Um, still in the sixth round here. I don't think we have that many picks left. Tepley is still here, so. And then we have Eberling as well. So Tepley looks like he is the American star that what we want. And then, like, there's tons. There's tons of players left. Eberlin. Or Eberling. Since I know we don't. Like, if. Yeah, I was about to say, if we can get a defenseman, that'd be great. So, uh, Kristen. Another American here, 19 years old. I feel as though our team is just stacked. Our team is going to be amazing. Booten, a three star. Is there any American? Caden Brown. I'm leaning towards the. Uh, I mean, I I feel so it's silly to not grab a three star. Uh, thirty three points. Yeah, this guy looks like he is great. Thirty three. Yeah, we're gonna go. F oh, never mind. I guess we're not gonna grab you. Maybe you'll be available next year. So draft is now complete. Rangers is the worst draft. That I don't know what they're talking about. Wow, they really sabotaged us there. All right, what what's it going to take for Logan Cooley? That's what I want to know. Let's go for trades. Let's go. Feels though Arizona's a rival in this as well. For no reason to. Like we should have had that pick. I'm 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 very pissed. Alright, so we're gonna our we're gonna go after rights here. For rights. More coyotes rights. I don't know why I did that. Rangers, right? Um, Lambert. Yeah, of course it's a well-balanced offer. I feel as though because of this, I have to give up more for sure. Because otherwise, it's, like they'll probably do it one for one. So we're going to have to give up someone for sure. Tepley, yeah, let's do that as well. Let's give up two, maybe even a... Yeah, let's give up a contract as well. Maybe not an amazing contract, but at least a good enough one. Uh, not Cheadle. Can't be Cheadle. Um, Justin Richards. Yeah, maybe Justin Richards here. Oh, he's 1.3. I, I kind of want to... Hajik, yeah, let's get rid of, we'll give up our, our whole, it feels though that, that should be good enough, but we want Logan Cooley, like that, I feel as though the game messed up, so yeah, I'm okay with paying the consequences for that, I'll even give up a pick if I have to, like even a third, third overall, like third rounder, not third overall. But even if I have to give up a third rounder, I'll definitely do that for, I guess, the greater good is what I would refer to it as, I guess. So.
Kozak signs, good. So, and we got one of the, there we go, I guess, okay. Um, sign, yes. And 62, which is literally the double of that. That was quick. So, we end up getting Roddy Ross as our as a goalie. So, 22 years old. And we got a 20-year-old as well who will probably be, yeah. Bedard, yeah, we want, oh, Michov. Michov is the guy that I was thinking of. Okay, so Michov is the guy. But even if we can get Luke Coughlin, I, I'm okay with that. Dylan McKinnon, I'm okay with that just because of the name. Um, Krumans is what we end up having in the other e league. But feels so, and Luke. McNara or Mc, McNamara is another guy that will definitely target. Um, I just want to quickly finish this to see if we end up managing to get the trade. I feel as though the trade should be a little bit quicker than what they end up doing because you have to wait so long for a trade to actually go through. And a lot of the time they just like ghost you and they don't end up actually pushing it through. But this... Uh, I don't know, this draft was frustrating right off the bat, but uh, I feel so we'll, we'll be able to offer the, uh, I don't know, I kind of, no way, you got to be kidding me. All right, 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 draft picks. So, like I said, we will give up a third rounder. I think they'll. you should accept it. If they don't accept the this game's broken, I'm because I'm willing to give a third round for a yeah we're basically giving a third rounder for to move up one spot in the draft of a player that we should have already basically got it anyways. Yeah, that's garbage. I hope everyone agrees with that. But we'll we'll see when we end up getting it. We'll see if we we manage to get that uh, that pick as well. Oh, my dog's just behind the chair. There we go. Okay, so we end up having to get, give up Tepley. So hopefully he doesn't turn into anything. Brad Lambert. This is yeah, and our third round pick. Yeah, I feel as though this is this is good enough. They end up getting a two star guy. Yeah, let's complete the trade. Now we can... Oh, he's with Notre Dame, so he's going to stay that one year, obviously. We're not going to bring him in early. So good. One star one star guy. What's the other guy that we... I feel, I feel as though Lambert could have probably started. He is a... Oh, no, he's one star as well. But NCAA is better than um, WHL, I think. Or SML. Yeah, 100%. So I am very happy with this. We managed to get the player that we ended up wanting, but gave up an arm and leg for him. Hopefully no one ends up thinking that's like fudging because we were willing to give up more than what he is probably worth. I feel as though it's probably only worth like a fifth rounder, maybe. Just a fifth rounder and the picks. But uh, quick look at our depth here. Yeah. Sveslovsky or whatever, however you say his name. I'm just going to butcher everyone's name. I think that's how it is. Almquist will stay. Yeah. And we'll, we won't bring him up unless we feel as though they will start. So, so far, I feel so you can't even offer him a contract, though. He's probably in there for two years at least. Yeah. So, so that's our team. Looks like we have Jaden Gruby, one and a half star. So he's McTavish is going to start for us this year. That's fantastic. Uh, Korzak as well is probably going to start for us as well. So, but we still got we like our our depth looks pretty good. We got a bunch of three stars. Moldenhauer, I feel as though he's going to be a top guy. We just got to let him grow. Um, where's oh I guess Coach Delic's not going to be there as well. I feel as though. Coach Delic as well. M Muller, oh, he already 
bumped up, so we got him in the fourth round. Yeah, but Delic we got in the fourth round as well. But just watch. We'll hopefully these guys grow. We'll he's a blue chip prospect. I don't even know what that means. Sudbury Wolves. Yeah. But I feel as though we did great this this uh this draft and this free agency. Um given what what we were got what we have, I feel as though we may still somehow be way way below the cap cuz right now it's 69, 62 is the amount and if you look at the amount of players that are on here, people have to drop down. So Baron has to probably drop down. Well, I'm not even going to try that name. It's going to have to go down. Um, yeah, I feel we're going to have to, we're going to lose half because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 players on there and you can only have 23 on your roster and yeah, it feels like we're gonna have to end up just grabbing a player just to just to hit that, because Dylan Ross always, uh, uh, Roddy Ross is obviously going down, and I feel as though Garan is going down as well. So th this is our team. Um, yeah, this is our team. We'll we'll end up. Uh, we won't bring up anyone anyways, but uh, we'll kind of pick and choose. We'll play another episode probably midway through. Um, yeah, probably midway through, maybe like the, uh, I guess the, probably before Christmas, we'll do a little bit one and then see if there's any trades that we end up having to do to kind of make it. But there shouldn't be any massive trades that we end up doing. And then we'll probably do, depending on where we are position wise, we'll probably do the trade deadline and towards the end of the season. Um, but if anything, we'll probably just end up doing maybe the last month of the, of the season, because I don't think there's any massive trades that we're going to end up doing. And then we'll, we'll do kind of like a recap, uh, and then we'll show the playoffs as well and see who ends up winning next year. Yeah, that's probably what we'll end up doing. So thanks everyone for watching and until next time.